Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is Hopeful Chewbacca at the Church of Chewbacca, and today we're going to start a new series. It's going to be a series that I'm going to upload weekly, or bi-weekly, or more than once a week, depending on how much content is coming out within the game. It's going to be a series of gold glove players, and I'm going to play with them in rank season, and the requirement for the team is the player has to have won a gold glove, or they have to have over 90 fielding. So let's look at the starting lineup I have so far for this gold glove themed team that we are going to play with. So starting at catcher, we have the gold glove Salvador Perez. At first base, we have face of the franchise Matt Olson. He does not have a gold glove card in the game, but he has won two gold gloves within his career. Then we have Ryan Sandberg at second base. He is a gold glove recipient, I believe, four or five times over. We have gold glove Ozzie Smith, as everybody knows, the wizard, one of the best defensive shortstops to ever play baseball. At third base, we have Cabrian Hayes. He has not won any gold gloves yet. I don't know if he'll ever win any gold gloves. However, he does have 98 fielding, which might be the highest fielding at third base in the entire game so far. Another option would have been Nolan Arenado. However, I've not had the uh, delight to purchase Arenado yet, so we're going to go with Hayes here at third base. Once I get Arenado, he'll probably replace Hayes because I want to keep it to as many gold glovers as I can. There's also not another third baseman in the game right now that has over 90 fielding. Unless you want to go with Matt Chapman. However, the Chapman to Hayes difference in overall is significant. So we're going with Hayes. And then in left field, I have Taylor Trammell. He has 92 fielding. Once again, there is a few other gold glove outfielders such as Shane Victorino. I just do not have the stubs right now to purchase Victorino. He'll eventually get added to the outfield as one of the gold gloves. And then in center field, I have the future stars, Alec Thomas. Another guy with 90 fielding. Once again... There's going to be some more Gold Glove outfielders that I'll add to the team over time. They just cost stubs, so there'll be some additions. And whenever we add those additions, we'll add them into the team. Also, in right field, we have the Gold Glove, Jason Hayward. A Gold Glover, he now plays for the St. Louis Cardinals. But whenever he won the Gold Glove in 2013, he was a member of the Atlanta Braves. Let's take a quick look at our bench. We have Mike Schmidt. 91 fielding, gold glove winner over time. Roberto Alomar, another guy with 91 fielding. Javier Baez, 92 fielding, gold glove winner previous years. I do have Todd Helton here. He's 86 fielding as a first baseman. I have don't have too many other guys that have 90 fielding on the team in general. This Todd Helton has 86 fielding. That's very high fielding for a first baseman. I figured he'd qualify for right now. If I can add a few, another Gold Glover, some other guys with higher defense, I will sub out this Todd Helton. We're just pretty much using him for a pinch hitter. I will not put him in any of the games other than the pinch hit. However, I will use other options before him more than likely. And then we have Mookie Betts, another guy that's won multiple Gold Gloves with 97 fielding. The actual lineup itself is going to be Trammell batting leadoff, Smith batting second, Olsen in the three hole, Sandberg batting cleanup, Hayward fifth, Hayes sixth, Thomas seventh, Perez eighth, and then we'll have our pitching spot at the nine spot. Let's go take a look at the pitchers. So for the pitchers, there has not been any relievers that have one gold glove. So my relievers are going to stay what my best relievers are or what I feel are the best relievers on my team. I know cheating a little bit. However, a lot of relievers have terrible fielding. I didn't feel like going through all of them. And everyone needs a half decent bullpen when you're playing ranked seasons. However, we're going to have the 88 overall Greg Maddox, who is... The highest winning gold glove winner ever in Major League Baseball. Got to have him in your starting rotation. Chris Sale's never won a gold glove. However, he does have 70 fielding. Taking a quick look into his card there. Pretty high fielding for pitchers. Most of them only have 50. Bob Gitson has won several f gold gloves. So we're going to put him in there in the rotation. John Schmoltz has 67 fielding. Never won a gold glove. However, pretty high fielding. And then we're just putting in Roy Oswald because... I actually have a lack of pitchers that have won gold gloves that are options. I will pick up the Zach Greinke Cy Young card as he has won gold gloves. As well as there's some other options. However, they're all like low bronze or common pitchers now. Or guys like R.A. Dickey who's not in the game yet. When a good version of a Dallas Keuchel or somebody like that has won a gold glove, I will add them to the team. However, I felt like you guys would give me a little bit leeway when it comes to pitchers. As in, I'm already kind of rolling with guys that are 93 overall or less. Which is going to obviously be a deficit for me personally in the starting pitching rotation here. As well as, there's just 
only so many guys that are gold gloves that have won. Like a Mark Burley doesn't really have a card in the game yet. That's been another big time gold glove guy in the American League. When those guys get added to the game, I will pick those cards up for this gold glove type of team theme team that we're going to play with. So right now, this is our lineup. That was our starting rotation for this gold glove theme team. And we're going to keep a running record in the description of whether or not we win games when we upload this. Obviously, it's going to be a record that's separate from my uh, Diamond Dynasty Ranked Seasons team normally. As just a quick preview, this is my Goon Squad here. And the Goon Squad is not going to get used in these videos. Only the Gold Glove team. So we are going to use them. Let's get into a Ranked Seasons game. I think I haven't played it at all this season. And I didn't really play much last season. So I think I'm starting out at like 400 or 450 ranked. You can judge me if you want in the comments below. But hey... Speaking of that, hit that subscription button, hit the notification bell, give this video a thumbs up. That way you can continue to grow the community. Also in the comments below, let me know what you think about this series. It's a little bit something different than what I do. I, I know I'm normally an informational YouTuber. I'm trying to do some more stuff with gameplay. Let me know what you guys think about it. If you enjoy the theme team or another theme that you'd like to see, I'm thinking about doing Silver Sluggers because there's quite a few sil Silver Slugger cards. Obviously those guys would have... Less defense and be kind of a different option than the gold glove cards. Let me know what you guys think below of any type of theme teams that you would like to see in some of these games. I appreciate all the comments and feedback. All right, so in the screen, we're actually rating 400 because we didn't play much last season. So I knocked us down to 400. So let's get into a game and kind of see what, it, what it's going to be like. It's obviously going to be an all-star. We'll start out with Greg Maddox as our starting pitcher too since he is the guy that has won the most gold gloves. Well, it looks like we found an opponent right away, so that's always good. Looks like there's a few people online playing on this uh, Monday afternoon. All right, so we're not going to take Oswald. We're going to pitch Greg Maddox since he has the most gold gloves. Keep our same lineup we talked about earlier. Looks like the guy is uh, editing his lineup on the other side. It looks like we're going to be the away team here. We're playing Corey against Corey Kluber. And it looks like he has a pretty stacked lineup. This should be a pretty hard game. We'll see. He does not have the best record at 27 and 112. I'm 24 and 5. As you can see, I haven't got to play that much this season so far. Taylor Trammell leading off against Corey Kluber to start the Gold Glove Series. Let's see how we do, boys. Looks like Trammell is going to fly out unless that carries. And it's a fly out. Now the first at bat with the uh, gold glove squad is a fly out to right field to looks like Reggie Jackson. Let's see what Ozzy Smith can do here, the switch hitter. He's batting left handed against Kluber. And it looks like Ozzy Smith is also going to get out. It looks like that could be trouble. It's a little. Soto comes in from the outfield. Looks like Kluber has uh, two strikes already. Not a very good first inning for us. That's unfortunate. All right, so we have Greg Maddox here. He's a sinker baller. We're going to try to keep the ball low. This is Greg Maddox. Right he gone! Oh, boy. He's really trying to make me work. There we go. Another strike. He gone! Just throwing dots. That is good. Well, got we got to win with got you know, the Gold Glove team, but that's not going to be sufficient for the video. So we're 1-0 with the Gold Glove team. We will go into a second game. Um, two strikeouts with Greg Maddox there. Just not really uh, what I like to see. I, I would have liked to see more. Um, but I guess we will go into another game. All right, so the first game ended in us literally just winning right away. Um, he left after I struck him out twice with Greg Maddox, and obviously I did not score any runs in the first inning when he pitched with Kluber. So let's go into this next game here and kind of see how it goes. Um, this time we will pitch Chris Sale. All right, it looks like we're facing Chase Anderson, Florida Bluegills, Baseball J292. Another guy with not a great record, 17-66. and 66. First pitch of the game, Chase Anderson versus Taylor Trammell. Let's see how this goes, boys. Fastball down the middle. Trammell's going to get at least a double off of that. Let's go. At least a double for Trammell. He gets the first hit with the Gold Glove squad of the season or the Gold Glove season. All right, Ozzie Smith's a two-hitter. Can Ozzie Smith check in here as well? And he cannot. Down into the glove. All right, let's be a little bit patient against Chase Anderson here. He blew a couple past me, then I blew one out of the yard, boys. Let's go. Set 
you can put it on the board, yes! There's a home run for Matt Olson. And Sandberg flies out to right field. Did Hayward get a hold of one there? It looks like it's going to be trouble. That's Trump, a home run. Can, it's put it on the board. Let's go. Yes! The new purchase pays off. Another home run that puts us uh, three runs in the first inning. Is that a base knock? I think it's going to be caught by the center fielder. All right. Good first half inning there. We're up 3 nothing against the Florida Bluegills here. Be gone! And we bounce the strike out of the ground, but with a gold glove catcher, he knocks it down easily. Throws the first base. That is second. The first base man, Mike Moose Dawkins. There we go. Working some pitches. Oh, that's off the plate. The count is one and two. He gone! It's two strikeouts for Chris Sale. He gone! There we go. Three up and three down for Chris Sale. It's three strikeouts. Uh, a pretty good start to the game so far. Up 3 nothing after 1. And he hits a line drive base hit. We got Salvador Perez, the catcher. And Perez checks into 1. That's another home run, boys. Let's go. Three bombs in the first two innings off of Chase Anderson. Ah, we got underneath him with Tremel. I think he's going to be out if that stays in play. And we got lucky. There we go. That should be in the gap, boys. Trump, you that can is a home put run. It on the board. Another home run. Let's yes. go. It's supposed to be the gold glove team, not the silver sluggers. What are we doing over here? Well, Ozzy Smith gets on the board with a little flare. Oh, that's a double play ball. Not good. Womp womp. Ugh, what is Olsen doing? Shouldn't have swung at that pitch. You're getting a little overzealous. All right, we're up 6 nothing after one and a half innings. Just two at bats. Oh, Dietrich tries to hit that into the gap, but it doesn't matter. That's flagged down easily by Tremel. Defense is out here just making easy plays. Oh, and that's easily caught. Well, Alec Thomas makes an easy play in center field. That's another three up and three down inning. For the hopeful Chewbacca's. Is he also going to quit? Raise the Jolly Roger! Well, guys, we got another victory. Um, this is the second guy that quit on us. We're going to wrap up this episode of the Gold Glove themed team with these two wins of the two guys quitting. Uh, I didn't really like the first guy quitting. The second guy quitting is kind of not good. 6-0. Um, and oh. I, We're just going to run it with the two games now. Um, if it happens where people quit early, we will run two games. I mean, that's fine. However, I want to do it to where it's about a game and episode. When we get higher up in the ranks, and I'll play some with my goon squad and get me back up into like the 700s, 800s, where we'll have people play out, play out the entire games. I just want to get this theme team series started going, see what your guys' suggestions are for some other theme team type things. Like if you want to see some silver sluggers, if you want to see like all 100 plus power teams, or anything crazy. Like, I'll do any theme team. You want to see an all Future Stars theme team? I have enough Future Stars to fill up a lineup. Just let me know. Be happy to do a series of some sort of theme team that you guys want to see. Anyways, hit that subscribe button like I mentioned earlier. Give this video a thumbs up. And please comment below so I know, like, what you guys want to see. But you guys have a great day and be safe.